What's up, guys? It's Chaotic. I'm back at you guys with the lit one. And I hope you guys got some roll up, you know. Hope you guys high off of that sun, you know, off a little something, you know. Hope you guys are out there staying safe, being healthy, you know, practicing harm reduction, you know, testing your shit, whatever you get, man, whether it's a Xanax, whether it's a pill, man, you know, whatever it is, man. Gotta make sure it's legit, you know. Can't be trusting people, you know, uh, just because they say, you know, they are fine, you know, when they got high off it, you know. Even your homies, man, you gotta be careful for yourself, you know. You gotta look at you after your, you know, own health. So, I'm coming at you guys with a uh, new series, uh, substance review series, and uh, what better substance uh, to start it off with than uh, um, a Tizalam. So, I was going to do a uh, RC Benzo substance review series first, so if anybody's looking forward to that, leave it down in the comments, and uh, you know, so... This is going to be my, my first time I'm taking the Tizalam and a whole, basically, like, a substance review over it. You know, like, the effects of it, you know, like, uh, rating it uh, 10 out of 10 based on the effect profile. And, you know, basically just reviewing the effects, you know, from head to toe uh, in your body, you know. So, okay, so this thing has a really, I mean, uh, this chemical really has, like, a place in my heart because it's, like, a more, um, I guess you could say, uh, uh a better Xanax, but it's it doesn't feel exactly like Xanax. It's not as strong as Xanax, but it it, it it's like a um, it's a more active version of Xanax. Like it uh, it doesn't inhibit you so much like a Xanax, but it, it it um has all the positives of one. But you can get fucking twisted off one. So supposedly the euphoria with this RC benzo is a lot higher than a lot of the other benzos, and that is very true because. When I abused this shit, and yes, I did. I didn't try to abuse it in the way, so don't don't go and abusing this shit. But I I just abused it to get high, you know. So when I would get high off it, I felt like it was liquid bliss, man. Like it was a. I remember reading a story online, uh, a little trippy report called Liquid Bliss, and it, it really was. There, this dude had a whole like dosage, like level, like of wh where to achieve this like certain euphoria, and he, and you know the euphoria you achieve around like two or three milligrams, you'll be feeling like you're on a fucking Xan. It's almost, it's pretty much as strong as a Xanax. And, you know, compared to a Xanax, it's very fucking similar. And, you know, it couldn't really tell, like, based on the effects, whether it was Xanax or not. Because I feel like if someone told you it was Xanax, you might just feel like it was. Because, you you know, uh, after that, you know, you're just still getting almost, you know, it's, it's targeting the same receptor. But I believe, you know, the potency is a little lower, you know, than Alprazolam. So, you know, Alprazolam, you know, it kind of hits you uh, like a brick, you know. Tislam, it kind of, it, it, the way it hits you, it's more lighter. It, it's a lot more like muscle relaxant uh, uh, on your body, you know. Like, you know, it's, it's just really fun. Like, it's also very, yeah, very recreational, very habit forming. Um, you really got to watch yourself with that shit. Uh, you know, I still got some actually right now, but I don't really be using that shit. I've been doing uh, flu bromazolam, and that, uh, that's going to be the next substance review I do. So leave it down in the comments if you guys ever tried that. And, uh, you know, if you guys are loving this video, man, you know, leave a like and a subscribe, man. So, yeah, so, you know, I take this atizolam. It's my first time trying. It's like a milligram. And, you know, we fucking, I mean, not we, you know, it's just, I guess, you know, we is in my body and my soul, right? guess if you want to get chippy about it but so it's just me me and me you know in my room and you know i'm just taking this tizzle alone you know it's 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 like it's a night after work you know just you know what better like what better day to not do it you know i mean like to do it you know it's like it's always fun doing it you know to relax so again the reason why i also started taking it a lot was because i was uh actually working and also working out at the same time, so, like, that shit was stressing my body out, man, so I really had it, uh, I really just, I just remember that, it was just so bad, my body was just so tense, and the, uh, and I really need to relax my muscles, my muscles were so tense, and it's, you know, I needed some of that, you know, so it works really freaking well, oh, yeah, and for pain, too, so it's also a painkiller, uh, it actually has antidepressant, more antidepressant qualities, it's, um, it leaves you feeling less stupid, but uh, you can get more stupid. But this is the main of like effect difference. 
the effects don't last just i mean they don't last as long as like a xanax like Xan- i mean it, it kind of trails off just as quick as a xanax like uh it's around four to six hours for a tizzlam so but with the tizzlam it just wears off a lot quicker so if you do end up abusing it and you do end up taking it a lot more often than you should which you shouldn't because it'd be a waste you know it's actually a really good thing to use you know therapeutically so um, you will have a withdrawal a lot faster. Like you, it, your withdrawal will come a lot quicker and harder, harsher. And you, uh, yeah, don't want to cross that boundary. You know, there's no telling if it causes seizure to you or not. All I know is that it, it's, um, it doesn't really cause seizures. I believe like, uh, it's a little more lenient on like, you know, abusing it basically. Like if you withdraw from it, it's not really gonna really do anything but that detrimental, but it, still can you know it's not a good idea don't try that shit but anyway you know learn from me do not ever do that um and that's like taking it every day because once you find out it's kind of like more euphoric because it kind of leaves you feeling like up and it gives you energy it's kind of like you know gets rid of that weird sluggish feeling a little bit and uh man dude it fucking picks you up man it fucking slams you (laughs) so yeah you know we fucking we're so high man I'm so, like, I mean, right now, like, I'm with, uh, you know, some homies. Like, they come over. We're getting high. And I'm on a Tizzlam, you know. I- I'm reviewing it. Basically, the effect profile, man, I love this shit. Like, like I- this gets a over a 10 out of 10 easily. Like, 11 out of 10. A Tizzlam is my friend. <laughs> but, you know, man, I-, I just really can't. I mean, this stuff is medically prescribed, and it actually has a... Like, uh, it has a medical, like, if you look up on, or if you look up online, United States actually accepts the medical use of it. Like, it knows, I mean, not that it accepts it, like, it's legal, but it's, it's actually illegal, but it, uh, they know that, um, like, it's safe, and there's been a lot of studies and all that, but they don't want to market it because of the habit-forming potential in the United States, but I think places like Japan and, like, Australia, I don't know, other countries, some other countries, you know, they actually have it marketed called Edizest or, you know, Edelam or something like that. And yeah, man, so it actually, I wish they would market it because it could actually replace Xanax completely and it's a little more forgiving. But because it's more forgiving, it's a little more habit forming because you feel like you can, uh, you know, abuse it more, you know, without repercussions. But there's a lot more repercussions with that, you know. Just think about it, you know, it, it will leave your brain erratic because you'll be coming down like like you be coming down like a lot faster than normal. Like like every four hours type of shit. Like if you get to the point of dosing every four hours, like you'll be coming down within four hours. You'll be like a molly come down, but like every four hours a bit worse, you know, like just full of anxiety and shit. You don't want that fucking anxiety. But, you know, it's always good to use these things. I use it for muscle relaxing mo- mostly, but. Sometimes, like, like anxiety, no, I don't really use it for anxiety. But, you know, I know some people that do. But, I mean, nah, man, I don't really do that shit. I like to just get high, just recreationally or just muscle relaxants for me. And uh, Tizzlam is also very good for muscle relaxing. You know, if you're looking to kill pain, you know, it's also very good for that, man. Very good drug. And uh, it gets uh, 11 out of 10 for me. And, uh. I'm not gonna say any more about that, man. So you know, leave down in the comments if you guys have got similar stories with Atizalam, man. Because Atizalam, oof, I still need to get some more of that. You know, I actually had a PG solution of that shit, and that shit freaking hit, man. And like, it was like I like I was like swimming in euphoria. Like it was, I was so warm up in my body when I took that shit. I remember I took nine milligrams once, and I was blackout territory. I started freaking blacking out. And then once I started blacking out, bro, I was like, oh, shit, man. Like, I did all these drugs, and all of a sudden, I didn't feel shit from any of them. And I was like, dude, I just fucking rampaged through these drugs right now off of, it. like, this, pat- like, like, I was basically, um, what do you say, like, yeah, like, blacking out with my memory, man. Like, I just really didn't, like, feel, like, I just didn't know what I was doing. I just, like, fucking did it, you know? And I was just getting dumb, but, like, I was so high that night that I still remember everything. I remember what I did. I just wasted everything, you know? But, damn, dude, I was so gone. 
I couldn't really like my whole body felt like it was having like a little like orgasm almost. It was just like a really intense fucking high, man. Nine milligrams of that shit. By the way, keeping f- like okay. Keep in mind, I I had a tolerance, so you can't just take nine milligrams off the bat. Trust me, you do not. You will, you will black out before that nine milligram. You will black out around four or five. Yeah, if you have no tolerance, it's that strong. So these doses were not normal, man. So you know, I I like I said, I was using it for a while. I was abusing it. But hey, man, that shit is lit. You know, if you can get hold of some, it's actually a little better than a benzo. It's actually it doesn't have a benzo ring attached to it it's actually a uh, theanodiazepine so and you know how benzodiazepine so for some reason it's a, it's a little less i guess it hits a little less of the addicting like potential of it like uh no like the and like the massive withdrawal and that's why it wears off quicker and it's like um but it's still it's hard gets the same receptors you know but that's you know it's a little less lesser of a high but if you actually take enough of a dose, it's actually better of a high than Xanax and better of a high than Flubromazolam, what I've been using, which Flubromazolam is actually nicknamed, coin termed uh, liquid Xanax because it actually feels exactly like Xanax. It has exactly the same effect, like effects, but except the dosage is completely different. So don't go getting that shit. Do not ever try Flubromazolam. That shit is just deadly deadly potent and yes i said deadly potent man because deadly potent means that it, it's very it, okay first off yeah i'm not gonna explain this video but i'll make a video man it's coming up coming up anyway so yeah man i'm just high for like at least six to eight hours because of this dose you know you're freaking high for longer you know you're over there redosing this shit and shit you know, <laughs> you know you're just fucking having fun you know kick it back and this dose i did man yeah dude i just remember i was barred out but like I was taking it in the PG solutions, I would just like swallow more dropper. I would just take a little drop, then another little drop, then another little drop, and I was like, "Ooh, man, that shit's fun." And it tasted kind of good. I mean, it didn't taste. I mean, it tasted kind of bad. It was bitter. You know, it's just chemical. But it, it wasn't that bad. You know, like in terms, you know, of like it being put into a solution for you to easily like just take it inside of your tongue. It was fun, man. And that shit was like. Man, I want to go back and get some more of that shit. And I have a tiny little bit still, and I'm not going to use it. And I'm trying to save for a good day, you know, a good day, you know, when I get paid or something, you know. <laughs> but, you know, man, like, I just I just really love that shit, Tizzlam. I, I can just talk about it for a long time, man, because that shit, way better than Xanax. It beats it out the game, man. I got to say it, like, it's way better than Xanax. But, you know, uh, Xans, I mean, they're better for panic attacks. But, the, you know, you want a longer acting benzo, I feel like, for anxiety. So, Atizolam is kind of for, like, short-term anxiety and more of, like, a, other uses, like antidepressant or uh, muscle relaxant or, you know, yeah, just generally feeling happier or in times of, like, tenseness inside your mind, body, you know, soul. You know, it's always something that can relieve it, you know? Without numbing you too much, like a, like a benzo would. But don't get it wrong, you know, it's very similar to one. So if you ever try it, if you ever do, very similar. You'll be surprised how similar. And I believe that has, you know, I may believe that because it would be a benzodiazepine, you know, if it wasn't a theanodiazepine. And the theano, I don't know what it does, must replace that benzo group, which must cl- cling on to the the benzo group of your, like like, brain a lot more, you know, so makes sense, you know. Interesting that little pharmacology about that, you know? But yeah, man. So, yeah, for the rest of the night, I just hella smoked weed. It's probably another reason why I was blacking out. I was getting higher than I could ever be. And, you know, I was just having fun, man. I was lit, motherfucker. And, you know, I'll never forget all the times I got high off of it. I was using it for a while. Right now, my dealer, I mean, he don't got shit. For, like about that right now so right now i'm just i'd be taking flu bro mads last times you know like liquid xanax here and there and uh you know next substance review is gonna be that and uh you know leave down in comments if you want other rc benzo stories because i got plenty man i start i tried a lot and uh yeah man hope you guys uh you know found something related to smoked up sparked one up for me
you know, got high off a dab blunt mode, you know, anything bong shit. And yeah, yeah, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. So yeah, stay high, stay lifting. See you guys in the next one. Peace.